refugees have to go somewhere you've got new messages commander I just got word 
Everyone from Grissom Academy has arrived safely. We wouldn't have known about them if you hadn't caught the distress signal. Nice work. Thanks, Commander. Commander? So Jack's an instructor? I guess anyone who messes with biotic kits gets turned into a small stain on the floor and ceiling. Ooh, and that was Cerberus attacking the Academy. Man, that must have been like Christmas for her. Anyway, nice job on getting them out of there. They were throwing out some impressive biotic power. Good. We could use some heavy hitters in the biotics department. It'll be good for them, too. Biotics face a lot of discrimination. Maybe if they save the galaxy, people will get over their issues. I didn't expect you to be sensitive about that. Hey, I'm just tired of them stealing the spotlight from people with actual disabilities. I break ribs if I sneeze too hard. Being able to move crap with your mind is not a handicap. Commander? It is good to know that Jack has thus far survived the Reaper invasion. I have amusing memories of her attempts to insert additions into my reports to the Elusive Man. Most of them centered around inappropriate uses of the word cockpit. Hello, Shepard. Hey there. Everything okay with the shuttle? Just double checking the inertia dampener coils. It can be twitchy in these UT-47s. But don't worry, this bird's been rock solid. I always see you down here working your ass out. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. What about your waking hours? Any R&R? &R? I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise, well, too much time to think. I appreciate your dedication, but I don't want to see you burn out. I know my limits. I wouldn't take a chance with your life. So before this war, you must have done something to relax. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter jock. There was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know, there were views like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. I'll pull rank if I have to. Take some R&R &R next time we hit the Citadel. Yes, sir. Commander, I feel terrible about leaving you on Grissom Academy like that. I did order you to leave. Yeah, it doesn't make me feel any better. I'm just glad it all worked out. Just one more diagnostic suite. Commander? That Jack is a mean SOB. But kind of hot. If you like that sort of thing. So, Anderson and Sanders. That's quite a couple. Huh. My dad's last name is Sanders. No relation. Hey, Commander.
Breaking now. City of four million blasted from orbit. Adelaide, Australia is no more. New footage from Earth reveals the Reaper's plans to attack large industrial centers. Which cities are next? Find out inside the battle space. Cerberus stealthily strikes star system shield. No, glad I read that one out loud. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy, she is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a spacefaring vessel before Edie even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. See, Edie agrees with me. Edie's mind and the Normandy are a whole entity now. You couldn't just move the processors in the AI core to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. Processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. See? Edie agrees with me. But unlike Edie, our brains couldn't have existed without our bodies. That is a requisite from being organic. You have to look beyond that limited definition of life. Joker pilots the Normandy. He doesn't take over Edie's body when he does that. When Edie controls the ship, she is piloting, just like Joker. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy. Edie can direct the Normandy with her thoughts. She sees, hears, and feels through the ship's sensor arrays. The Normandy is her body. I've seen Edie's body, and its curves are a fine sight better than the Normandy's hull. So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this and my head's gonna explode. Commander. Sometimes keeping the grid balanced is pure murder. Commander. Commander, I was exploring your ship. Find anything interesting? This space has absorbed much anger. The biotic instructor from the Academy. Right. These were Jack's quarters. Traces of her pain are still present. I'm told she sought revenge against Cerberus when she was here. A goal you helped fulfill. I hope you will do the same for me. At least I have better quarters. During our fight against the Reapers, we had no time for teaching the young anything but war. Only the foolish mourn the loss of innocence. It is inevitable. The galaxy has never rewarded the naive. Commander. Take care, Commander. One of the worst parts of this war is watching the kids react. If they're lucky, they grow up thinking the galaxy is basically a decent place. Some rough spots here and there, but for the most part, life makes sense. Now they find out it was all a lie. They wake up to see these things in the dark that just want to destroy everyone they ever cared about. If they survive, there'll be a lot of angry orphans out there looking for answers. Looks like we beat Cerberus again. Do you think the elusive man fires lieutenants over failures like this, or just lines them up against the wall and gets it over with? I wish they had had a Grissom Academy for Turians when I was growing up. Always wanted to learn how to paint. Now I mostly paint walls with Reaper blood. Not the same, but it's a living. Another time, maybe. The private messages terminal has new correspondence.
It was odd to see an entire academy just for biotic children. Don't Asari have biotic schools? Every Asari school includes biotic training programs. It's basic education. Still, those children in the academy were very impressive. I'm sure Jack's proud. Ready for the next mission? <laughs>